Okay, as promised, here's the uh, solar tracker controller that I'll be using in my kits. I finally got the, uh, the proper boxes. And I also found the proper box for the, uh, the LEDs, which are in this box. And actually this, back of it here, goes on the top of the solar panel like that. At the very top, bolts into the top of the tracker. And that is east, and that is west. Probably shouldn't be moving my hands like that. Now that little uh, black piece here, that's the photodiode. The way that they come, if you order these from uh, Dave in Australia, he puts his up on the top. And that was, oddly enough, the only problem I have ever had with these. Obviously, you don't see one on mine, because I've put mine... See that little black guy in there? I put them inside the box. And what that's done is it eliminates false signals like I was getting from street lights. That's why it was not parking. So what I've done with this setup is I've enclosed it in a waterproof enclosed UL listed container. And here I have the automatic switch. You'll see a little light come on when I turn it on. A little blue light. You see that? is actually going to the west and then this way is manual you'll see some more lights come on that's west and that's east now I'm gonna go tape this up on the tracker then I'm gonna turn this back on and it should go all by itself okay I hope you can see this because I can't see a damn thing I'm blinded that's my battery meter shutting off I've taped this uh, the LED module to the end of the super strut, like it would be on the back, the top of your solar panel, into the aluminum, it would be right even with the glass. And uh, now I'm going to go down and turn it on. The sun's setting quickly, so it should go to the west. Now hopefully you can see that little yellow light. I'm right in the sun now, full on. Just trying to outsmart the sun. So here we go to on. There's the blue light, and there she goes. You can see it moving. She is going slowly to the west. That's the meter shutting off completely. Now this is running off 12 volt batteries going real slow, which is what you want. What it's going to do is it's going to keep on going, obviously all the way, until it looks like those guys over there. See how they're all parked to the west? And yeah, she's still going. So anyway, that's what it looks like. They're going to ship out ready to go. All you got to do is hook up your one wire, M1, to the uh, actuator wire, M2 to the other actuator wire. I have already installed a 7.5 amp fuse in line. There's your hot wire, there's your ground wire, there's M1, M2, and I got the clear cover so you can see everything going on. Now you, that little light says I'm going to the west. That's it. That's the reincarnated uh, very first solar tracker back in action. I also had some questions. Would this thing fit three big panels? So there's a solar prop. Now that's uh, 39 by 65, which is the size of a standard panel, 220 to 250 watt range. And yes, the answer is, if you have a full length super strut, like the one on the bottom here, they'll come up to that piece of tape. I'm going to try to do this one-handed. Sorry about the camera. But there's one. There it is at the tape. She's still going to the west. So, will it fit three panels? And the answer is yes. A full-size strut is 10 feet or 120 inches. 
and these are only 39 inches so yes it will do three of these I could cut myself out of my own business by doing this but anyway it does work and there it is it just shut off it's saying okay well it shut off because it's as far as it can go I don't know if you can see that it's a little over 45 degrees remember these guys from the limit switch days they're still on there it worked out real well very happy Sometimes hard work pays off. See the little lights on? It still wants to go to the west. And I can shut it off by hitting this to the center. And you can manually turn it back. I want to go to the east. There she goes. She's going back to the east. And if I turn it back on again, There it goes. And there it is. Going back to the west again. And there it is. It stops right when it runs out of clearance. Okay, so. I promised I'd show it. And I did. And uh, I'm going to be making two more of my big ones. And I think I'm actually going to make a couple more of these redesigned. And this one here that you're looking at. I'm actually looking for a good home for it. It's going to go, uh, obviously, the tracker, the actuator. You can get this uh, actuator, this uh, solar tracker system, if you want to pay for it. But uh, I've got a Richard Spelling high amp that's going to go with it. The, uh, the one that sits up in the peanut butter jar. That's what's included. If anybody wants to buy this one. It's real easy to set up. Again, you just take this, these lag bolts on each side and swing it through its access and then relag it. So it's very simple, but it's also they're going to be very affordable. So that's it. I'm done. Hope that wasn't too hard on the ice. Okay, I'm out here shooting some stills of this. I just shot some more pictures with the fake solar panels. I just wanted to show how easy this works. I redrilled the, the holes. And I've got my angle meter, and this is how you adjust this particular one. You just simply move it. And she'll go up to 10 degrees, because then it hits the mount. And then you just move it with my hand. Very simple. It's uh, 45 degrees down. And it can go even further if you just trim, trim the top of this uh, post off. You'll get even more throw out of it. And that's how easy it is. I mean, I'm doing it with one hand. Again, it's a balance thing. And then when you, you get it where you want to go, you just put your little lug bolt back in. 45, dead on. Got a little bit more to go. I'll show you some of the changes I've made. I'm shortening this arm up by four inches. I cut it off and bolted it here for shipping purposes. Took a piece of angle iron here and put the actuator on this piece of angle iron so when you change the angles, the inclination, this motor drive will go with it. Previously I had that huge actuator over here on the pole and that gave me a, quite a bit of problems really. And then on this side it's tough to walk and hold the tripod. On this side here I re-drilled and redone this deal here with some 5 8 bronze bushings it's a three-quarter inch hole with a 5 8 steel bolt with bronze bushings with the nut and the washer so I can keep this tight and get rid of the sway factor. And then obviously to adjust this, you would take these bolts out. And I started playing around with this the other day, putting these lines in, 30 degrees, 20 degrees, 15, 0, and so on. This would be your, your inclination for your, your seasonal changes. And, uh, I gotta tell you, I'm glad I didn't just uh, stick this in a garage and forget about it because uh, I think I'm gonna make a, a new and improved version of this a bit wider. We do the pivot, and I think that's a very easy way to get someone tracking their solar panels at least three or six hundred watt panels. This would do easily. 
So get you about 600 watts of tracking. 